Come back or you'll be remanded. Mr. Harvey, it's my understanding you didn't do the interview with the public defender. Do you want to do it now? Well, with the public defender, there's a simple question and everything like that. On this day, I told him at the end, man, go do that so we can get this over with. This is the point thing I'm trying to do. I got to get home to my mama. I ain't got time for the custody and going through all this and making, I'm going, I'm in here for no reason anyway. Mr. So, Harvey, well, Mr. Uh, Harvey, you're, you're there yeah, for a yeah. reason. And if you think that that kind of attitude is going to increase your likelihood of going home today, it's not. So I asked you a simple you know question. Did, did you want to talk to the public defender? Him, I told him yes, so we can do this. That's why I told him. That's why I said to you, ma'am. You didn't hear that. What I heard I you doing was a, a lot of talking. Uh, so is it? No, I, told I guess you the truth. <laughs> you, you want to ask me a whole the same question over and over again? You only can say the answer so many times before I get it. Yeah, I'm trying to understand right now. So I did you need to, to talk to yes. him or did I only you say yes? Only have to one time. I shouldn't have to keep on saying three times. Mr. Raleigh, did you want to talk to him and see if you can finish up your intake? I'd, I'd like another attempt at it if I could, yes. Okay, we'll give it a try and see what happens. Okay, here we go. All right, Mr. Harvey, come on up. On the record, State of Michigan versus Sydney Harvey, 1500791 SM. All right, sir, what I have is a bench warrant for failure to appear at court, but since the bench warrant's so old, I'm going to start with reading you the complaint. Mr. Harvey, it was alleged that on or about February 23rd of 2015 at 9 in City of Lansing, Ingham County, Michigan, you did make an assault or assault and battery on Polaria. Michael Harvey, an individual with whom you had a child in common, uh, a resident or a former resident of your household or your spouse, that is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines plus court costs. You were arraigned on this February 24 of 2015 and scheduled for pretrial. There's a bench warrant here that says you failed to attend your pretrial on March 9 of 2015 and we have not seen you since, as far as I can tell in this file. Hold on, what is this? Well, yeah, that's everything. All right. So, Mr. Harvey, you understand the charge that they've accused you of? Yes, I was there. I'm and the one who called you. Under you under Mr. Harvey, you understand the possible penalty? I know the penalty, but I didn't do it. I call. Mr. Keep Harvey, it. Mr. Harvey, saying I all of that isn't going to change penalty. anything today. Please just answer my I questions when I ask them. I know all my rights. I know all yep. about this case. Mr. Harvey, I, know I am required to do this, so let me do my job today so we can all go home. You have the right to have an attorney in this matter. If you cannot afford one, we'll see if the public defender will represent you. You have the right to have a trial that could be by jury. You have the right to see, hear, and question all of the witnesses against you at trial. You have the right to bring witnesses in your own defense, and you could get a subpoena to make them appear. You have the right to testify at your trial if you wanted to, but if you did not want to testify, the prosecutor could not use your silence against you. You have the right to be presumed innocent unless they can prove that you are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand your rights, Mr. Harvey? I understand very well, ma'am. Would you like a public defender to assist you in this case? Ma'am, I'd like to do all what you want me to do so we can get home to my mom. Mr. Harvey, would you like a public defender to assist you in this case? Ma'am, I want to do everything you want from me. So, yes, so that's not yes, how this works, yes. Mr. Harvey. You just say yes or no. I don't got medicine to take for my illness. Mr. So Mr. Rowley, Mr. Mr. Harvey... Mr. Harvey requesting a public defender? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Pre-trial in this matter, since it was a Judge Cherry case, it's going to be mine. So I looked at my docket. Pre-trial will be scheduled for April 22nd at 10 a.m. If the jailer could write that on his notice, so he has that date, it's April 22nd, 10 a.m. I will be there. 
so that he has an actual date instead of a to be determined date. Mr. Harvey, you are going to be ordered to have no contact with Falaria Harvey. I have no idea who Falaria Harvey is to you, but is there an Harvey, my wife. Okay. That is there an voice. is there an address that you will be at? They, I have no idea who my wife at. Okay, no, I'm asking no, you, I, what address will you be at? Is. I'm homeless. I right. thought you just said you were going to go stay with your mom. I help my mom. My mom ill. I want to take care of my mom. I don't have a home. I came all gave up my home in Florida to come down here to help my mama. Okay, to hold be on. Homeless. All right, Mr. Harvey. So you told me you were going to go to your mom's, and then you're telling me you can't stay with I her. Did. I I I didn't sit there and try to tell you plain and clearly. I moved back here from Florida to help my mom and my son. Yep, I heard that part. I'm asking you about an address. Well, I'm homeless. I had a home in Florida. Now I come here in this Bradley town that don't help. I don't have a home. Been What's the phone number for you? By I don't know my phone number. Never knew God. Never called my child. And they busted up my phone. So I ain't even got no. I only can tell you the truth. They break you the veil for me. Wait. Hey, Dave, I'm the one who called the cop on this case. Mr. Harvey, stop. I'll tell you later when we go to court. Hey, for the They're going to be the same too. Hey, Mr. Jay. Raleigh, anything else for me for this bond? No, Your Honor. Okay. Based on Mr. Harvey's failure to appear and his inability to provide me an address or cooperate with general directions from the court, bond is set at $2,000, 10% with no personal recognizance relief. There'll be no PR on this case. Conditions of your release, Mr. Harvey, of course you must attend court. I give you a court date, April 22nd at 10 a.m. Mr. Harvey, you're required to stand here because there's conditions of bond that I have to give you. Come back or you'll be remanded. Okay. I, I'm going to have to, if I can't give you conditions of release, I have to remand you. Okay, we'll step back up there. Okay. But you don't want to do two. You're making work for yourself. Let's step back up. I got a mom that they don't care about. So I can't help. Mr. Harvey. I cannot, my heart of God can't tell me to keep on hearing this wrong shit. Okay. Well, Harvey, we have to step back up for the fence. You okay? You ain't helping my head with this doing this way. Well, you know what? You sit there looking at me as a guilty person, knowing that my wife got me. No one's knowing that that okay. time I beat them yes. case. We're the first time he did it. Harvey. It's all in working. I don't want to do your job. I've called the cops. It's almost done, okay? Go, man. Brother, go scare of her sister. Go tell the cops I did it when I called him. Now I got to be persecuted over and over again. We're doing the right thing. Mr. That's Harvey, this can all get wrapped up at your court date if you just show up for it. I will show up for it. Come tired okay. of craziness. Well, I, I don't know. I'm not you're, a person you're, who you're listening to me all. zero. So, Mr. Harvey, let me finish First telling you all. the conditions of, of Harvey, your release. I can feel it. She's almost done, okay, Harvey? You just got to be patient. Just a couple more minutes. It's frustrating my unit. I'm sorry that you feel this way about me, everything, but I can't help it because of what I got in my condition. It's a medical condition. And you don't understand that. I'm sorry I'm bipolar. I'm sorry that hey, I'm schizophrenic and that this frustrated me right now. When I'm standing here being an innocent person, there's something someone did to me. And you won't hear the truth because you won't allow me to say the truth. So we can say it in court so we can get it over with. Because I got to get to my mother and what God want me to do. Because that's the only important thing to me. Because this world stuff don't mean nothing to me. Because it's dead. So thank you. I will appreciate you. I'll be there. I'm sorry. And God bless y'all. But this, God move on with my life. And Mr. Harvey, stop talking so I can finish. 
Mr. Harvey, you must attend your court date. That's April 22nd at 10 a.m. Do not leave the state without permission of the court. Do not commit any crimes. You must notify the court in writing of your address and telephone number. So when you get that sorted out, you need to let us know so we can mail you things. Do not possess or purchase a firearm or dangerous weapon. Do not use alcohol or illegal controlled substances. Do not engage in harassing, intimidating, stalking, or threatening behaviors. Do not assault, harass, intimidate, beat, molest, wound, or threaten Philaria Harvey. Do not have any direct. I'm not going to finish this if that's what, how you're going to behave. Don't know where she's yet. So how can Mr. I Harvey? Mr. Harvey, just turn around and face. She's almost done, man. She's already 12 years. She's been dishonored. She's almost done, okay? To be another fucking wrong guy. I told my wife that was true. Fix it, fix it. Fix you a better, a motherfucking, just turn I'm 26 years older than her. And what the fuck you did put her hand on me? Just turn around. She's almost done, right? And I gotta keep paying for shit a wrong day to me. Do not to have any direct or indirect contact with Valaria Harvey or not to be within 2,000 feet of where she lives, works, or goes to school. And I'm order that, and I order that cats do an evaluation of you at the jail before they consider your release. But of course, your bond is $2,000, 10% with no personal recognizance. Y'all go now, uh, please. Y'all just like to hear y'all talk. talk. All right, Mr. Mr. Raleigh, anything else? Nothing further. Thank you. Well, I serve my Lord proudly. I shall serve my wife proudly. You're on the track. 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 You